Hi everybody, Forerata Live here with another Keyforge video. This is a Mass Mutation spoilers video looking this time at House Untamed. There have been so many brilliant Mass Mutation cards spoiled and revealed over the last week or so that I've had to split down the houses into different videos. Please do check out my other videos uh, to see some of the cards that have come out in other houses. And before I start, I just want to shout out once again and give credit to the community. What I'm showing you here is a summary of a lot of hard work by a lot of other people um, that have been finding these cards translating these cards and sharing them with the community. Um, big thanks to the Sanctimonious Discord and the Mass Mutation Spoilers thread there. Um, a load of people working really hard to find out as much as we can about Mass Mutation before it comes out. So let's have a look at Untamed and let's have a look at some of these new cards. So let's have a look at the first card. It's Euonia. It's one of the cards we've only seen revealed on the Chinese website, uh, looks like an Asmo Day website over in China, and Andy Ming over on the Sanctimonious Discord has been really helpful translating these cards and revealing them to the community, so big, big shout out to him. Um, so Euonia is a beast and a cat, and it has the effect, after a creature is destroyed fighting Euonia, gain one amber and heal two damage from Euonia. Now, I think that's a great, great card to have. It's a six power creature, so it's pretty powerful. You're gonna gain an amber every time it destroys a creature fighting, and it's gonna be healing itself. So really liking this card, nice artwork, and I like the kind of cat theme they've gone with in Untamed for Mass Mutations. Next up, another creature. It's called Chubby. It's a mutant, and this is a creature we've only seen in some Polish decks. So again, got the translation there for you. It has Skirmish and the um, its ability is when an enemy creature is destroyed while fighting with Chubby, double the number of plus one counters on Chubby. And then it has a play effect, put a plus one counter on Chubby. So when you play it, plus one counter goes on to power. Um, if you destroy an enemy creature while fighting with Chubby, and of course it's got Skirmish, uh, then you can double the number of plus one counters. So you can see how Chubby could really quite quickly power up and be a bit of a beast in your battle line. Now another cat, Lumilu. Um, looks looks a bit quieter and nicer than Yoinia here. Um, four power creature, has the reap effect, gain one amber for each other friendly beast creature. So again, you can see that if this comes through in a deck with a number of beasts and cat creatures, and there are a fair few in mass mutations, uh, you could be reaping and gaining a huge amount of bonus amber. So potentially a really, really powerful card to have out on the table. Now Dark Fairy, it's a two power mutant skirmish and it has the effect fight gain two amber um, so you know an interesting mutant variation here on a card we've seen before not sure it's as helpful when it's got the fight effect to gain two amber um, but nice artwork nice card to see and I, I kind of like the theme they're going with with the kind of twist on previous cards we've seen so um, an interesting card Okay, now this is uh, quite a nice card, Dark Queen Gloriana, another mutant, three power. Um, it has an enhanced effect, it's put two amber pips into your deck, and it has the play effect, return a friendly non-untamed creature to your hand. So I think this uh, could n not only put that extra amber pip um, or two into your deck, which is very nice, uh, but it's got a pretty useful play effect there, so I think Dark Queen Gloriana is going to be a, a good card to see. Another creature here, Pismire. Four power mutants, so quite a few mutants coming through. Um, while there are more friendly mutant creatures than enemy mutant creatures, your opponent's keys cost plus two. And of course, Pismar's uh, one of those mutants. So, particularly if, if you're up against a um, a non mass mutation deck, if you're you know in a matchup against Kota AOA uh, Worlds Glide, uh, you're more likely to have more mutants out. Um, so that means you're probably going to have this plus two key cost effect in play quite a lot of the time. So I think this is going to be a good card, particularly particularly in um, you know, non-mass mutation matchups. Next creature is Trimble, a three power mutant, and this has the effect of giving each mutant creature skirmish. So um, yeah, interesting effect here. I think that's gonna to apply to your opponent's mutants as well. So again, um, could be more helpful for your opponent than you. I guess you've gotta be careful as to whether you're gonna benefit from it more or less. Um, getting skirmish, particularly on some big creatures, would be pretty handy. So could be, again be a powerful card in combination in the right decks. 
Now this is a really interesting creature, it's Blossom Drake, a dragon, um, and this is only the third dragon we've seen in the whole of Keyforge. So uh, we had Khalifi Dragon early on, and then in Worlds Collide we had an anomaly, Nizak the Forgotten. So uh, that's the only dragons we've seen before, but getting a third dragon, quite exciting here. A nice piece of artwork and a really interesting effect. So four power creature, but Blossom Drake gets plus one power for each artifact in play. Um, so potentially um, big power boost from both you and your opponent's artifacts. Uh, and also each artifact's text box is considered blank, except for their traits. So all of the normal effects uh, wiped out while Blossom Drake's in play, and that is game changing. This could absolutely wreck decks that rely on particular artifacts, um, and you could play this card and stop your opponent using their artifacts at a critical moment in the game. So this is a super card. It's a rare, so you're probably gonna only see 10% um, of cards in your deck as rares. So you're not gonna be seeing this card too often, but if you do, I think it's gonna be a really, really powerful card to have um, in your deck. Let's have a look at this creature now, Cephalost. Uh, another mutant, four power, um, and looks like a bit of a, an, an odd version of um, Fuzzy Gruen, but you've got the effect there. While you have four amber or more, your amber cannot be stolen. So um, a bit of steel prevention there, particularly when you're getting up to those high amber totals and you're really looking to forge some keys. So I think that's a nice effect to have out there. Four power probably means it's gonna be able to stay on the table for a bit. Now this is an interesting card that's uh, come out, so um, Dark Harbinger is the translation. This is one of these cards we've seen in a Polish deck. It's a mutant and it's a witch, and I think as we know, untamed witches have a bit of a reputation of being rather nasty cards that you want to get out of play quickly. Four power, so a bit of staying power, and it has the effect after you play an untamed action card, ready Dark Harbinger. So lots of potential shenanigans here with um, getting Dark Harbinger out, playing those action cards and, and reusing Dark Harbinger repeatedly in one turn. Now I guess what makes it interesting is it looks like Dark Harbinger is going to come with a series of action cards to actually power up that effect and let you get the most out of it. So there are these three mutation cards um, which have come in the same deck and looking at the rarities it looks like they may well be special rares that um, are somehow linked to having Dark Harbinger in your deck. So not sure whether you get one, two, three, or maybe more of them uh, whenever you get Dark Harbinger. But um, three interesting cards, they all come with an amber pick. So the first one, Clever Mutation, play until the start of your next turn a creature gains Elusive and the Mutant trait. Uh, then you've got in the middle there Instinct Mutation, play until the start of your next turn a creature gains Skirmish and the Mutant effect. And then on the right you have Fury Mutation, play until the start of your next turn a creature gains Assault 3 and the Mutant trait. Um, and I guess as you're playing these uh, uh, you're hoping that you've got your Dark Harbinger out and you're going to be reusing Dark Harbinger. Maybe you're applying the effect of Dark Harbinger. Um, all those sorts of things going on here. So I think this is a really interesting little combination we're getting in Untamed um, that hopefully you're going to be able to play off along with just using Dark Harbinger with any other action you've got um, in your hand. So a uh, good little combo there and another tricky witch I think we're going to have to learn how to deal with. So let's move on to some action cards. And the first one here, Commune, um, it's an Omega card and it has the effect play, lose all of your amber, gain four amber. Um, so at the right turn, uh, in the right place, this, this is gonna be brilliant. So either you forge the key or maybe this is your turn one play um, first card down and you're just looking for that amber. So, um, you know, it's it's going to be one of those cards that if you get it at the right time, it's going to be brilliant. If you get it at the wrong time, you're not going to want to play it, and you may well be throwing it away. But potentially four amber for free, so that is a great, great card. Next up, a card we've only seen in China so far, um, translates as Amber Evolution. It's another Omega card, and it has the effect play, destroy each creature. Each player reveals their hands and puts puts each revealed creature into play and ready. Um, so that's uh, that's going to be quite interesting again if you're using a load of cards um, on the table then you're going to play this. I guess the, the issue is it's the end of your go. 
and your opponent's then going to be the first to use any creatures that they've played out of their hand. So I guess you're going to have to take a view as to whether you think you've got more creatures uh, in your hand than they have, or they've maybe got a really strong board position that you want to wipe out, um, in which case this could, could well be a really powerful kind of twist on a, on a standard board wipe. Next up, third Omega action, so three Omega actions in Untamed in Mass Mutations that we've seen so far. This one's called Look What I Found, and along with some really interesting artwork, um, has the play effect, return one card of each type, action, artifact, creature, and upgrade from your discard pile to your hand. So you're getting four cards out of your discard pile into your hand. Um, it is the end of your turn, you're not going to be able to use them immediately. But this gives you the chance to really power up your next turn with maybe cards from a particular house or gets you to recur some key cards uh, that you really need to, to uh, pull off a combo in your next turn. So um, I quite like that and I think I can see you know playing a normal turn and then putting this down at the end potentially helping you uh, mould what cards you're going to have in your hand for your next turn really good. Next up, Growth Surge. It's an action card, um, it has a play effect, give a flank creature 3 plus 1 power counters, give its neighbour 2 plus 1 power counters, give the second creature's other neighbour a plus 1 power counter, so you're getting a kind of 1, 2, 1 uh, boost to power, um, yep, yeah, okay, that'll be handy, pretty useful, comes with an amber pip, um, nothing super special there, but a, a nice card. Now this, uh, this is a, a potential really good card in terms of boosting the strength of some of the creatures in your battle line. It's called Rapid Evolution, comes with an amber pip. Play effect, choose a creature, give it a plus one power counter for each amber you have. So if you're up near to forging a key or you're pushing ahead um, in terms of amber, this could be giving you a three, four, five, um, five power boost to a creature. Um, and if that's something you want to keep on the board or that's something you're using to fight, that could give you a real advantage. And the next action, Vault's Blessing. So again, comes with an amber pip, um, and this one has the play effect, each player gains one amber for each mutant creature they control. So again, this could play into your opponent's hands or yours, depending on the matchup, depending on what you've got out in play. Um, if you've got a mass mutation deck and they haven't, um, you're probably gonna have a significant advantage in terms of mutants. If you've got a deck with lots of mutant creatures in it, because um, remember obviously not every creature in Mass Mutations is a mutant, then again that might give you an advantage here. You're going to have to weigh up the situation on the board um, when you come to playing it and whether it gives you a bigger advantage or not. So uh, this again, an interesting card to have in there. It's going to be one of those ones that you have to just wait and see uh, whether it's going to work for you in game. And that's it, that's a rundown of all the really interesting Untamed cards that have come out recently and been revealed um, in advance of Mass Mutations coming out for real. We are just a few days, maybe a week or so, away from uh, Mass Mutations coming out officially in China and Taiwan. I think at that point we're going to have all of the cards spoilt for us, we'll know exactly what's coming. Um, I'm certainly getting really excited and hyped about Mass Mutations. Lots of interesting cards, lots of twists, uh, lots of different effects to things we've seen in previous sets, so I'm really thinking it's going to mix, mix things up again can't wait for it to be revealed uh, revealed and released worldwide um, so I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on some decks in due course uh, now if you've enjoyed this video please do like it please do subscribe to the YouTube channel I've got loads of Keyforge content um, on there already and more coming all the time um, also sometimes streaming on Twitch so if you want to see me actually playing some games um, please do uh, follow me on Twitch as well at Fororata Live thanks for watching